The true history of ancient Egypt goes back much further than you are taught in school. In today's video, we're going to show you some examples that will shake your historical worldview to its foundations. What can a 7,000-year-old artifact tell us about the actual evolution of the pharaoh's inhabitants? And what role does the legendary island kingdom of Atlantis play in this? Give us a like and subscribe and see for yourself. History and Reality A quick search reveals the colossal pyramids of Giza are 4,500 years old. But so that we understand each other correctly, this is only a historical assessment. When exactly the world-famous monumental buildings were built cannot be said with conclusive certainty. But that's not all. As is well known, we cannot even prove conclusively which construction techniques the ancient Egyptians used in their incomparable projects. Against the background of these unsolved mysteries, those technical texts dealing with the Egyptian past are all too often accompanied by how, e.g. estimated and presumed. Clear evidence? None? And this is where things start to get weird. Some discoveries suggest the revolutionary conclusion that the Egyptian pyramids are in fact significantly older than experts believe. And we are not talking about an age deviation of a few decades or centuries, but we are moving in the order of thousands of years. To understand what this, let's call it, confident claim is, let's take a closer look at an ancient artifact most of you have probably never heard of. The Nubian Egg Mysterious Find It is 1907 when British archaeologist Melody Stull unearths an ancient tomb of the Nakyata culture in the Nubian desert of Sudan. Historically, this people is placed in the Chalcolithic period, which preceded the dynastic era of Egypt. According to this, the Nakyata culture developed in Upper Egypt at the beginning of the 4th millennium BC, spreading to Lower Egypt over the course of the following 1500 years. In the burial chamber mentioned, the British researcher finally bakes a strange artifact. A decorated ostrich egg adorned with many different depictions. The age of this piece was dated to a remarkable 7,000 years. However, one image clearly stands out from the others. Three triangular shapes marked with a series of transverse lines. The assumption that these are the Great Pyramids of Giza seems extremely obvious. However, the conservative experts understandably have difficulty with this interpretation, because after all the ostrich egg is over 2,500 years older than the world-famous tombs. Controversial interpretation. As a result, the images would only be of a mountain range. End of story. But then again, it's not quite that simple. After all, this declaration is overshadowed by a huge question mark. What's with the striking lines? If we then take a look at the mountains that we find in Sudan, things only get more puzzling. Should the depiction show us the Reba caldera, which is over 3,000 meters high, or another mountain range in the east of the country? The decorations are most reminiscent of the Altker Mountains. However, this interpretation also requires a lot of imagination. It is difficult to deny that the extremely pointed structures have great similarities with the Nubian pyramids. However, according to our official state of knowledge, this interpretation is also not permissible. After all, these buildings were only built around 2,000 years after the Pyramids of Giza. Alternative Interpretations Do the illustrations with their subdivisions remind you of the typical structure of a pyramid? Yes. So do they embody proof that the Pyramids of Giza are actually more than 7,000 years old? No. Thankfully, though, it's not the only details caught on the Nubian egg. Let's look at the zigzag structure to the right of the supposed pyramid. Could it be the Nile? It is well known that the mighty river repeatedly takes a few detours on its way. Just as depicted on the egg, the Nile actually lies to the right or, more correctly, to the east of the Giza Plateau. But that's not all. After all, we have only looked at one side of the egg so far. On the other side of the artifact is another pyramid-like formation, but accompanied by a different image. 
would it be conceivable that we see a scenic reference here again? More specifically, the Fayum Basin, an oasis-like structure located southwest of Cairo and west of the Nile. Take a look at both representations side by side and form your own picture. A question of time. At this point we should not fail to mention one circumstance. The course in the form in which the Nile presents itself today no longer corresponds to that of 7,000 years ago. As a result, we should also not assume that the Nile depictions on the egg look exactly as current maps reflect. Of course, we are not dealing with detailed mapping, but rather with rudimentary drawings on an ostrich egg. With that sorted out, we can now take a look at what is perhaps the artifact's most spectacular detail. Its top. Atlantis. As is easy to see, this spot is adorned with circular rings. Hmm. Where could we have seen something comparable before? Well, in an age-old, hotly debated myth, of course. According to this, the main island of the legendary kingdom of Atlantis is said to have consisted of three rings of water and two rings of land. And although it was the Greek philosopher Plato who first circulated the Atlantis legend, it is clear that the roots of the legend lie in ancient Egypt. Some researchers suspect that Plato himself learned of this tradition in Egypt. Notwithstanding the fact that Plato's journey to Egypt is disputed and that he could not read hieroglyphs, it is possible that the Nubian egg not only reveals to us the true age of the Egyptian pyramids, but also confirms the existence of an empire ruled by the labeled as fiction by the vast majority of researchers? And what does the artifact actually tell us about the person in whose tomb it was placed? The lost artifact? Did you know that only three artifacts were found in the gigantic Cheops pyramid? Yes, only three a granite ball, a copper hook, and some wood fragments. After the first two objects mentioned were identified some time ago in the British Museum, a few years ago an employee of the University of Aberdeen finally managed to track down the long-lost pieces of cedar wood. Strange but true. The irreplaceable relics had lain dormant in the University Museum all along. The pieces of wood, packed in an old cigar box, were wrongly stored in the Asia Department. After the gratifying rediscovery, the experts immediately carried out radiocarbon dating and were left with their mouths open. Examination showed that the wood dates from between 3341 and 3094 BC, more than 500 years before the reign of Cheops, to whom the pyramid is said to have been dedicated. In fact, given the range considered, it is even possible that the wood is another 300 years older, or in other words 800 years older than the assumed age of the pyramids of Giza. Attempts at explanations. But how do the experts try to put the age dating in a comprehensible context? What is a 5,000-year-old piece of wood doing in a 4,500-year-old pyramid? In this regard, the researchers refer to three conceivable scenarios. A less than convincing version is that the 500-year-old piece of wood was used in the construction of the pyramid because the material was a very rare commodity in ancient Egypt. If the wood really has been recycled for more than half a millennium, we could learn a lot from the pharaohs when it comes to sustainability. Another approach is that the ancient wood was specifically used to honor the pharaoh Cheops. On the other hand, the theory that says that the cedar tree was already several centuries old when it was felled for wood processing seems a little more realistic. In fact, cedars can live up to 1,000 years. But if we draw the bow at this point back to the Nubian egg and the images immortalized on it, wouldn't it be conceivable that the cedar wood was not put into the pyramid 4,500 years ago, but much earlier, because the building had already been completed several centuries ago? The Mysteries of the Sphinx At the end of our video we would like to make a little detour to the Sphinx. This monumental hybrid creature, which has been watching over the Giza Plateau for thousands of years, is always consulted when it comes to the question of the true age of Egypt. More specifically, it refers to the countless traces of water erosion surrounding the Sphinx. It is widely believed that such heavy and constant rainfall last occurred in Egypt 9,000 years ago. But then why do we find these natural signatures at a site that only officially speaks during the reign of Shifrain, 
between the years 2520 to 2494 BC. The fact that the Sphinx has been buried by the sand several times over time adds to this mystery. In detail, the building was not to be uncovered again until the stone base in 1926. Yes, folks, and now it's your turn. Do you think that the history of ancient Egypt actually goes back much further than our modern history books would have us believe? As always, let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Also, be sure to leave us a like and subscribe for more updates on the most controversial story riddles of all time, so thank you for watching. Take care and see you next time.